So what is going on my fellow jewelers? Today we're learning about crimping covers. These little guys that look like Pac-Man. Nom, 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 nom. I can't even hold them because they're so slippery. These things are slippery suckers. Um, nom, 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 nom. They look like Pac-Man, but they're not essential to your jewelry making. If you never use them, that is okay. It won't ruin your jewelry. But if you want to make your jewelry a little bit cuter, a little bit prettier, a little bit more blingier, then I would suggest using crimping covers. And that's what I'm going to teach you today. Thank you for the suggestion of saying, hey, I need to learn how to make crimping covers. Well, I got your back. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that bell to get notifications because I'm all about the how-tos of jewelry making, whether it's just some techniques, jewelry basic 101, or some pretty jewelry to make. That's right. I like teaching you how to make pretty jewelry, pretty jewelry. So you and me, let's get started. Let's get down with crimping covers. They are cute. They are more for look than they are for you to really need them in your jewelry they make it look a bit nicer and a nicer finish and so they're pretty great they have different sizes which is wonderful um you are gonna need um a, a pliers i use a long nose pliers i've seen other people use their crimping um bead pliers where they use it for their crimping bead um and so whatever pliers you want that's totally fine but i just use a regular long nose pliers now um what you're gonna do is you have your crimping bead and let's say this is kind of like a makeshift necklace pretend there's a necklace all you know it's all finished and done um, but mainly what you're gonna do is you're gonna see what size your crimping bead is and then pick your crimping cover and I am just going to grab it it's hard they're kind of slippery they are slippery uh, I'm gonna grab it like this and then I am going to put it over my crimping bead and I'm going to squeeze down I'm gonna squeeze down over it until I have um, the crimping cover over. So look at that, ah, oh, it's super easy. Do you see how easy that was? It's just mainly crimping it and you don't wanna squish it down until you finally get it over your crimping bead. But it just makes it look like a finish. It makes it look like there's a little middle bead at the end, but that's mainly how you do it. They're super easy, super simple. You just, the hardest thing to do is to hold on without, without crimping it before you get to your crimping bead. But yeah, pretty simple. You did it, you did it, you did it. Now you know how to use crimping covers and they are cute and they make your necklace more blingy or your bracelet or your earring, whatever the case, but they are not essential. Remember that if you never use a crimping cover, it's gonna be okay. So before you go, um, just wanna let you know, I have a Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest where I show my jewelry creations I do for my videos. So make sure you go check those out. The link is in the description below, but that's all I got for you guys today and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye!